Not right now when I have a gentleman by the name of Norm who's uh, holding uh, and uh, sent me an email through our website and told us that he is the guy that had a little discussion with the CNN reporter. What's her face? Norm, is that you, sir? It is. Well, tell us, without telling us anything that can get you in trouble, like where you work, where you live, uh, the, the name of your family members, sure. um, you wrote me, and what did you tell me? Well, you know, I've been uh, kind of following on newsbusters and watching the liberal bias that's been going on in the media for probably about three years. I think it confirmed something that I knew all along, and I had actually discussed with my grandmother before she had passed on about the bias. I mean, she talked about it during the Reagan years. When there was rallies and stuff, she would say, now look, they're making a big deal out of this, and there's only 200 people here, but they didn't even cover the conservative rally over here where there was thousands. So uh, I kind of knew about it be well beforehand, but uh, when I came across Newsbusters, I really got tuned in, and uh, they got a great audience over there, and it really helped to fine-tune some of my arguments. So uh, when I went down to this rally... I was kind of late. All right, let me let me week. slow you down a second. Now you yeah. you have in this email that you read a book called Vindicating Lincoln. I did. Right? And I you did. read I it. Heard, and it uh, I heard you ahead. had you had the author author Thomas uh, Crownwitter on the show, and I just thought he was fantastic. I went out and got the book. I was always kind of uh, uh, a buff on the Civil War. Wanted to know more about Lincoln and had heard a lot of stuff and wanted to to clarify what was real and what wasn't real. All right, now let me hold you right there. So you had boned up on Lincoln. You knew all about Lincoln. You you go to this rally with your two-year-old little son. And now I want to play the clip, and then I want to bring you back in, so don't hang up. Here's the clip from CNN. Go. Uh, let's see. Drop the taxes. Drop socialism. Okay, let's see. You're here with your two-year-old, and you're already in debt. Why are you here today, sir? Because I hear a president say that he believed in what Lincoln stood for, Lincoln's primary thing was he believed that people had the right to liberty and they had the right... Sir, what does this have to do no, with no. taxes? What hey, does this have to well, do with your taxes? Do you realize that you're speaking. eligible hey, for a $400 credit? Let me finish my point. Lincoln, Lincoln believed that people had the right to share in the fruits of their own labor and that government should not take it. And we have clearly gotten to that point. Wait, all right, wait. And then, well, did you know, that, you did you know that the state of Lincoln gets $50 billion out of these stimulus? That's $50 billion for this state, sir. Ma'am, 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 ma 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 I, 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 can you stop this, sir? Hold on. Okay, well, Kira, we'll move on over here. I think you get the general tenor of this. Uh, it's anti-government, anti-CNN, since this is highly promoted by the right-wing conservative network fox and since i can't really hear much more and i think uh this is not really family viewing toss it back to you kira all right I know now norm first of all you're not anti-government you're pro-constitution isn't that correct Th that is correct and in fact hold on let me uh, let me I go did... through i'm going to go through this and i'm going to let you go you uh you weren't sent there by fox news were you uh, absolutely not. Uh, I, just by listening and, and, and saying that we need to engage about what's going on in our in our society and where we're going, uh, you know, I actually went to go see the, the movie uh, Brothers at War, and I said to myself, you know, I'm not going to war to defend my country. I'm probably not going to get the opportunity at my age, but I can step up and do something for these guys exactly. that are going over to war and make sure that they come back to the same country that they left. Exactly, exactly. I'm very proud of you, Norm. Now, also, uh, are you aware of any millionaires or billionaires that back this movement, that uh, this rally that you attended? Boy, I, I, maybe I would like to know some of them because, you know, my family is, is facing some financial difficulties, and we've had to re really scale back and make sure that we don't spend any extra money which, you know, was the impetus for this. Uh, my so you are, you, are, you are what Obama would call a, a working American. Th that would be correct. Mm -hmm. A very hard-working American. So you're a hard-working American. You're, uh, you're, you're working very hard to make ends meet. You took time to go to this rally. Uh, a reporter begins to ask you a question because she's offended by your sign and the fact that you're holding your two-year-old son. And then when you start to answer her in an intelligent way, trying to educate her, she cuts you off and then smears the whole event. 
Yeah, pretty much. And, and, and not only that, but the stupidity that came out of her mouth was unbelievable. Yeah. My response to her was going to be, hey, if you give crack to a crackhead, you think you're going to get the crackhead off the crack? <laughs> you know, we keep giving these states that aren't fiscally responsible money. That's like giving dope to a dopehead. You know, it just isn't going to work. Well, uh, well, let me say this to you. You are the prime example of what I've been talking about, which is that we outnumber them. That we are an army of millions and millions of activists if we choose to be. And even if we just use our intelligence and our knowledge and embrace our conservative principles and confidently put them out there, we will, we will make some very significant gains. We will drive these people out. And you gave a prime example on how to do it there, Norm, and I'm very proud of you. Well, thank you. You know, I, I knew using the Lincoln argument would expose her. Uh, because they, they love to say that he's channeling Lincoln and everything else. So I knew if I kind of picked that argument that, that she would really try and go to the defense immediately, and that's pretty much exactly what she did. She didn't want to really hear what I had to say. She just wanted to come to, to the Obama's defense instead. And went right to the talking points of the Democrat Party. Did you notice that? Well, you know, the thing I say to people is look around. Look at your top ten cities. What are they run by? And what have they been run by for a long time? And they're just going down Liberals. the toilet. Exactly. I mean, it's it's here in Illinois. It's, I mean, we, there is a Republican governor out in California, but that's run by the Democratic legislator. Look around, people. See what well, principles we, are working. I mean, and we want to apply some of these things to the larger United States. I don't know how we, that's going to work. What we want is for conservatives to take back the Republican Party. The Republican Party belongs to us. It's been hijacked by some weasels who uh, who really don't stand for a hell of a lot. You agree with me, Norm? Where's Norm? I mean, we've got to get back to some fiscal responsibility and understand when we spend some dollars, it's got to do some people some good. We Not want constitutional, constitutional government, right, Norm? Absolutely. I, I'm really happy about what's going on down in Texas where they're... They're pushing the Twelfth Amendment and saying, "Hey, you don't have the right to do this." I, I right. work in a hospital, and I'm not going to go any further than than that. But uh, no, you shouldn't. I see, I see where when we bring in patients and they're on Medicaid, we don't get a dollar for dollar from the government, and yet people think that a national health care is going to work. We're not even getting one for one now. What makes you think when we go national, we're going to get one for one? They don't care. Kind of, they don't listen no. to me. They don't. They don't believe that Obama's lying to them, uh, because he's a demagogue and they're complete suckers. Uh, just because Obama says it's going to be utopia doesn't make it so. There's never been a utopia on Earth. All right, my friend Norm. Uh, God bless you and congratulations. Mark, one more thing. I, yes. I've been uh, sharing your book with uh, a number of my friends. I got through it. I loved it. Thank you very much for writing it. It, it was. Uh, an inspiration to me to go out and get engaged and I think you're right and what people need to do is go out educate other people engage them on an intellectual level and let's take our country back I'll tell you what let me send you a signed edition my god you earned it my friend don't hang up Norm we'll get your address we salute you we thank you again you gave an example on how you deal with a leftist whether they have a microphone or not and what Norm exposed was how stupid they are just how damn stupid they are. Norm's talking about Abraham Lincoln, and she's going down the Obama talking points. You can do the same thing. I promise you. You can do the same thing. And it doesn't have to be a CNN reporter. It can be in the grocery line. It can be in your school if you have to. It ought to be at your dinner table, breakfast table. It ought to be when you take your kids to soccer. Whatever it is. We are on the right side of history. We stand for the right things. We are the people who are going to save humanity, not the left. The left is the opposite of all those things. We'll be right back. Mark Lovin.